Experiencing new things in fishing has really just been an eye-opener for me uh, the past few years and I continue to plan on exploring you know more places more fisheries different people different foods uh, and, and just try to, to absorb all that in and uh, just make it a great experience Get this phone call from my buddy Dan Ponciano of Dan Ponciano Fishing Guide Service. He's based out of uh, California uh, and out of uh, Oregon as well. Does guiding in both places anyway, so he's on the Sacramento River fishing for uh, stripe, striper bass, striped bass. So I decided, you know, hey, what's going on, man? And he's like, dude, you need to get down here. There's striper fishing going on. I know you've never done it, and it's been on my bucket list. So I decided, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna go do it. So. Cast them out there, but fall to the bottom. Yep. Throwing right to the back. Let it hit that bottom. And just kind of walk it's it back. The first couple of pops that, you know, just lifts it over the rock where it's going to a lot of stuff like that where it's yeah, really rocky, some snaggy stuff. And we got wood, throw at it. You know, oh, okay. Yeah, when you get branches and stuff hanging up on the side, that's okay. right where we want to be. All right. Got a couple fish. Oh. These striped bass, uh, you know, realistically, they're 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 shaped like a large mouth bass, but giants. I mean, you got that big mouth on them, shiny uh, sides on them, so they're a very pretty fish. But they're there to feed. They're they're a feeding machine, is what they are. With that big mouth on there. Uh, well, especially with these swim baits, a lot of times it's just a, you'll feel the grab, and they can almost feel it rattle in their mouth. You know, the jig head hit. And, yeah, and it's everything's gonna happen in that first 25 feet. Once you get, you know, halfway back to the boat, you just crank it on. The typical method is you're trolling little live minnows. So we went to that technique. Just yeah. a little tiny vibration to be able to just lift it up if you turn over a little log. And we noticed that working the edges of the river, and the river's fairly narrow, it's probably, I'd say, 100 yards uh, wide, maybe 150. Uh, and it just winds around uh, uh, through. Uh, 
northern and central California there by uh, above Sacramento and it's kind of kind of neat but we're working these rocky uh, shorelines and and as we noticed as the shade got on there the rods close to shore were, were getting activity so we were getting bites we're getting hits that's a good fish that's a good fish that's a real good fish Right up, baby, take your time. Enjoy the ride. Oh, he's burning. It's all right. We'll get, we'll get this up and we'll get turned around. Well, they kind of got soft now, don't they? Yeah. So we're trolling along and you know I'm, I'm I've got my rod on the uh, on the bank side of the boat and we're coming down this little slot and you know once you find some fish you're catching fish you're gonna roll back up on them come back down through there typically they're gonna be in an area so we're gonna work that area well my rod gets pinned it's screaming line I grab the rod it's like ooh, this is a better fish and uh, it, I probably fought it for a good five, six, seven minutes. Very good Have you seen fish? Oh yeah. There's two of them with them. There's two of them with them. <laughs> Come here, baby. Nice bite. So when these fish hit, I mean, it's not like a bite or something like that. It's like they smack it and they take off. Because we're trolling little minnows. So our rig's a super basic setup. You've got a sliding weight, you know, with a 12 inch dropper, quarter to three quarter ounces of lead, probably about an 18, 20 inch liter, one knot hook, pin that little minnow through the beak, its nose, and you troll slow. up on one and, and these fish even though they're smaller fish you know 9 10 12 13 14 pounds they fight like a 12 to 20 pound salmon they're digging for the bottom they're hanging low uh, they it, it's it's just a you know with light tackle that we're using it's just fun and, and that's what it's about if you're not having fun it's not even worth it 